yeah, me and my buddy heading to go to Santa Paula to get this M45. We're on the 118 East, right, Brandon? West. West? Ah, oh, West, see? <laughs> Don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> Backyard Harder Works over here uh, in Simi Valley almost or something like that. Shopping Center, Simi Valley Shopping Center, yeah. We had to do a quick pit stop. I'm going to have to get used to that. His boy had to go to the restroom. So I'm having my first kid, so I'm going to have to get used to doing little pit stops. But yeah, we're right here at Starbucks. We'll be back on the road soon. All right. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what to do. We're getting there, Briggs Road. Supercharger under this hood. <laughs> That's right. Whipple. Whipple. Yeah, we go down in there. Yep. Oh. There's only one way in, right? I don't know. Or one way. Oh, okay, we just gotta wait for him. Go around again? Go around again. <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy. Infinity M45. Out here, Van Nuys sublot. A lot of cars out here. This yard's nice and quiet. There ain't nobody here. Like that S4, that Beamer, it's pretty tight. Be right back. Yeah. What's up, guys? Bobby from Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. Got the Infinity M45. So it is the next day. Sorry. Couldn't film uh, unloading it. We got really late. We got back around 6, 6.30, right around there. Um, so it got kind of dark, so I couldn't really film anything. So there she is. Let's go check it out. All right, there she is. 2003 Infinity M45. It's got 131,900 miles on it. So obviously, needs a mirror. We got that on, on the way. The fender is not as bad as I thought it was, but I already got that on the way, so that's about it. The worst part, right around here, it's got a good crease in it, so I wouldn't have been able to fix it. I mean, you could fix it, but eh, not worth it. And I don't know what happened, but I ordered a new hood hinge. I, it's not part of the accident. I don't know what happened, but I had to oil up the hinges. They were hard, so I think they bent them. So I just ordered one, that should be cool. Headlights, you know me, restore them. So that's good, they're not cracking anything. 
She is dirty though. We will wash her up today. Paint's a little worse than I thought. Now I didn't get to see this car, so I bought this sight unseen. Paint's really bad. But it's complete. It doesn't look too bad. Oh, also, the wheel is pretty thrashed. Pretty thrashed. But that's cool. Because you know why? Check this out. Spare. Bam. So I don't have to worry about that. We'll just use the one that's messed up for spare. Ooh, soft clothes. I didn't notice that. That is cool. But other than that, this side is super clean. Also in the picture that I didn't see. Back seat's got one little rip. That's it. The rest of it don't have rips. A little dirty. But again, I think this was a girl's car. I know they had kids. Little stickers. Little dingies there. Oh yeah, and in the pictures you couldn't see this either. A I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but right here, let me see. No, but yeah, it's a little dent, little crease line. But other than that, it's super clean. Headliner's good. The wood grain is good. I don't know if it's real, probably fake. <laughs> Another thing that I love about these, pillarless are the windows. Yeah, I love that when they roll down. So no posts. I like that. It's got the Bose premium sound system. Now, do got to tell you, it does not run very well, which makes me sad. But I'm going to change the coils. I looked that up. I looked up the codes and came up with a misfire in number six. So I'm going to change the coil from six to eight and eight to six. And if it changes, which I pretty pretty much sure because it was running really good last night for about 10 minutes. I mean, real smooth. And then I turned it off, turned it back on, and it started missing again. So I'm going to switch the coils. More than likely, that's coils. And I can kind of hear a poppy noise like it's arcing. So I'm pretty sure it's a coil pack. Cross my fingers. So, yeah. Start her up. Another thing I don't understand, none of the airbags went off, but airbag lights on. So I'm gonna have to check that out too. Maybe I just gotta reset the computer and I don't know. Because it didn't blow. This one I thought it blew, but it's just cracked. So it didn't blow. See, even up there, the dash is cracked a little bit. So that's the only reason why it's, that's regular wear and tear crack. Love the clock. But yeah, this thing is, I love it.
Yeah, I like that. That's so cool. Let's see what's under the hood. Bam. 4.5 V8, 340 horsepower. And the coil packs aren't that hard to get to. They're right there. So, I'm going to do that after I get off camera. And then those right there. So, I'll probably do that before I wash it. I'm not in a hurry. But if I have time, I'm going to switch the coils and then wash it. See you guys. What's up, guys? It is the next day. Um, so, I changed the coil from 6 to 8 and from 8 to 6 and the code changed from misfire to from 6 to misfire to 8 so obviously it's a coil so I got a coil right behind me right there and um, so I'm going to switch it right now and we'll see how it runs all right changed the coil only took me like five minutes it was pretty simple uh, let's see let's see if this thing purrs ah, I love that Still has a slight exhaust leak, but I don't think it's anything major. I think it's one of the resonators. But wow, that sounds good. Now clear the codes and test drive it real quick. All right, I've been letting it run. No overheating, the AC works. It's purrs. Let's go take a drive right down the street real quick. All right, let's take it out for a spin. scored again but like I said no lights on the dash the only one that's blinking is the uh, SRS light airbag so probably take to my friend's shop hook it up see what's up wow this thing rides smooth sitting for at least three months I looked at the date Man, stock exhaust sounds great
I'm gonna stick you out to the back outside. All right, guys. All right, guys. Yeah. This is going to conclude another episode of Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. It is late. As you can see, it is dark. I'm inside the Infinity and took it around the block, as you saw also. And I'm happy. So I'm just waiting for the parts. And next video, uh, I'll probably put the mirror, fender, uh, wash it, obviously. And uh, that's about it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share. Subscribe, hit that little bell, and I'll catch you guys again on Bobby's Backyard Auto Works.